When I describe work integrated learning, I'm talking about students having the opportunities to have authentic learning experiences that are pointed towards their future careers. So at the University of Wollongong, we have a classification system then of five different levels of work integrated learning that starts with um, a foundational level, where we have a co-curricular level, and then a foundational level right through to professional will, professional work integrated learning, which is what we think of in traditional forms as as a placement or going out on an internship. But we believe that there's all of these different levels in between there that we work into our classrooms. So that might be at the foundational level, talking about your CV, taking a look at job application, uh, sorry, taking a look at um, job posts and what kinds of criteria are they looking for? And what is it then that you need to start thinking about building your skill, getting ready to do that? Or it might be having a professional that's coming in from the field that you're teaching in from your discipline and having a conversation with that person and having an activity with that person. And so not that one is better than the other, but trying to help academics realize that a lot of us are doing this already, um, and but being able then to put a name to the different kinds of will that we're doing in our classroom setting. And a really important part of what we talk about at Wollongong when we talk about will, we're talking about engaged feedback. We can't have these will experiences without having an opportunity to engage with the feedback that we're getting, either from a supervisor on the, on the job front, or some marks that you've received for something, or an observation that you've done and you've written in a journal. You need the opportunity to sit down, to discuss, to, to mull over the feedback that you're receiving so that you know how you can take that feedback and then apply it to make it better.